Next, we will visit a lovely Finnish field. Our next speaker is chair and co-founder of the Baltic Sea Action Group, Carbon Action Platform, and the co-founder of Soil Food Limited and Q Power Limited. Sara Gangarinta also owns the oldest manor in, of Finland, Kvidia Research Farm, together with her husband. She's a member of global eco networks related to soil carbon sequestration and ecosystem restoration and human health. Please welcome Sara Gangarinta. Hello, I am Sara Kankanrinta. I am chair of the Baltic Sea Action Group Foundation and Carbon Action Platform. And I am Ilka Herlin. Greetings from Quidia Experimental Manor, dedicated to regenerative agriculture and solving environmental crises. We offer grounds and participate in several research projects, such as Carbon Action. There is online data on carbon flows between soil and atmosphere coming from the fields as we speak. In Credia, we can also demonstrate practices and healthy soil to diverse stakeholders. It is soil that ties together our work for the climate, biodiversity and the Baltic Sea. Indeed, greetings, greetings from the Credia Experimental Manor, where we practice what we preach build healthy soil that can sequester carbon, produce good yields, support biodiversity and minimize nutrients runoffs to the water bodies like the Baltic Sea. Thank you, Francesca, for the perfect presentation. I so wish we could have met uh, live, but that day will come. Uh, these are also goals, the carbon sequestration, supporting biodiversity and minimizing nutrient runoffs. Also goals in carbon action, a major effort we started in Baltic Sea Action Group. I'm a founder and the chair of the Baltic Sea Action Group and the Carbon Action Platform. And BSAG Foundation initiated this interdisciplinary carbon action project so that we can accelerate getting the latest research on soil and soil carbon storage into practical action and concrete change, both at the farms and in national and EU climate and agricultural policies. Not an easy task, but we try. BSAG steers the big picture in carbon action, and we're extremely happy to work with top-notch researchers, skilled farmers and forerunner companies. Some are also present here today. The speech by Mr. Ronald Varga, Secretary of the Global Soil Partnership and Land and Water Office at the UN Food and Agriculture Organization was to the point, healthy soil is the foundation of important ecosystem services we humans need. And having lost one third of our productive topsoil should raise alarm in all our society. And more so as the saving of soils and good soil functioning is fundamentally integrated to solving the other major crises we're facing, climate change and biodiversity loss. And in this excellent presentation, Professor Francis Francisca De Vries of emphasize the interaction between the plants and soil microbes as the key element of sequestering carbon from atmosphere and storing it back to soil in long term and also managing nitrogen runoffs. So this paradigm change in the understanding on how the soil carbon is accumulated is also addressed in the carbon action. We also aim to fill in the knowledge gaps such as developing a monitoring and verification system for the changes in the soil carbon storage. As long as such a verification system and a cost effective one is missing, steering mechanism of the society towards soil carbon sequestration remained heathless. And luckily we are on our way uh, and you will hear more about this later today from research professor Jari Liski of the Meteorological Institute of Finland coordinating the research in the carbon action. So the best scientific knowledge has to be the base on what we do, no doubt, but it's, this also has to be feasible and appealing for the farmer, the actual decision maker. That is why we have 100 farmers committed to the research on their farms and currently some 800 farmers in our Carbon Action Club together learning regenerative farming practices. We also have just launched an e-learning course on regenerative farming in Finland, which can reach a substantial portion of the farmers in Finland. And while we continue to need more research to understand soil better, just as Francisca described, we also already have enough knowledge 
for action, we know where to go and what is the direction. And this means activities at the farm, in the companies of the food system, as well as in the policy making. This is no longer theory, but already happening. Action for soil health and regenerative practices is gathering momentum. So let's all make sure that this opportunity is fully used. Thank you.